Amid global geopolitical dynamics and evolving military challenges, the U.S. Army is taking its modernization program a step further. With a focus on cutting-edge technology, this transformation aims to maintain U.S. military dominance in the face of potential future conflicts. This modernization covers a wide range of aspects, from new generation combat vehicles, artificial intelligence, AI development, to energy-based weapon systems. One of the flagship programs is the optionally manned fighting vehicle, OMFV, an armored vehicle designed to replace the Bradley fighting vehicle. It is capable of operating with or without a crew and features advanced sensor systems and a high level of protection against modern threats. Not only combat vehicles, drones, and autonomous systems are also a top priority. The U.S. Army is working with major defense companies such as Lockheed Martin and Raytheon to develop small tactical drones capable of operating collaboratively on the battlefield. The use of drone swarms and AI systems enables rapid response to threats without relying on humans on the front lines. In addition to weapons and vehicles, the U.S. is also strengthening cyber and electronic warfare capabilities. The Army Cyber Command Center has enhanced personnel training programs to deal with increasingly complex digital threats, including cyber attacks from state actors such as Russia and China. This transformation does not stop with combat systems. The Army is also building a new generation helicopter fleet through the Future Vertical Lift program. The project includes the development of aircraft such as the Bell V280 Valor and Defiant X that promise speed and range far superior to conventional helicopters. With high maneuverability and integration of automated systems, these aircraft are designed to dominate future air battles. In the field of artillery, the development of precision strike missile PRSM missiles is an effort to expand the range of ground attacks to more than 500 kilometers. This missile is projected to become a strategic weapon capable of penetrating the opponent's defense system from a safe distance. On the other hand, the strategic long-range cannon project is being tested to support ultra-range firepower. In terms of communication and command, the Army is introducing a satellite and cloud-based battlefield network system through the Integrated Tactical Network. This enables secure, real-time communication between combat units and command centers, accelerating tactical response in fast-changing situations. Defense against air threats is also strengthened through the development of an integrated air and missile defense system. This new system is designed to deter drone attacks, cruise missiles, and even hypersonic weapons that rival nations are now beginning to develop. Technologies such as Indirect Fire Protection Capability IFPC, are part of a layered defense system that complements the Patriot and THAAD systems. At the individual level, the U.S. Army is developing advanced equipment for soldiers one of which is an augmented reality-based smart helmet called the Integrated Visual Augmentation System, IVAS. This helmet allows soldiers to view digital maps, enemy positions, and terrain data directly through the visor, improving situational awareness and effectiveness on the battlefield. This modernization also touches on aspects of organization and training. Through the establishment of the Army Futures Command in Austin, Texas, the Army established an innovation center to pilot new technologies and design future battle doctrine. The command is tasked with accelerating technology adoption and bridging field needs with defense industry innovation. Military analysts see this move as a comprehensive effort to ensure the Army stays ahead in an increasingly digitized, fast-paced, and complex combat environment. The battle of the future will no longer be about physical strength, but about who has the upper hand in technology and information. 
With billions of dollars allocated in the 2025 defense plan, the modernization of the U.S. Army is one of the largest military transformation programs in post-Cold War history. However, implementation challenges remain in the spotlight. The process of integrating new systems, retraining personnel and high-tech logistics requirements will test the resilience of the world's largest military organization. While the road ahead is not easy, the U.S. seems unwilling to risk falling behind in the global military power race. One thing is clear. The face of the U.S. Army in the next two decades will be very different from the one we know today. While the road is not easy, the U.S. does not seem to want to risk falling behind in the global military power race. One thing is clear. The face of the U.S. Army in the next two decades will be very different from the one we know today. The changes will not only be evident in the types of weapons and vehicles used, but also in the way soldiers think and act on the battlefield. The old doctrines that have guided the U.S. military are being reviewed, replaced by more adaptive, decentralized and real-time information-based combat concepts. Speed is the new currency of future battles, and whoever can process data faster than their enemy is believed to be the winner. The Army is shaping a new generation of soldiers equipped with advanced digital tools, cyber training, and the ability to operate in a variety of highly complex environments. From desert to dense urban terrain and digital threats, military leaders call this soldier-centric modernization. Behind the scenes, partnerships with the private sector continue to expand. Technology companies such as Microsoft, Amazon, Palantir, and defense startups are now given strategic roles in creating battlefield solutions based on AI, cloud computing, and augmented reality. These collaborations show that the future of military power is not just about weapons, but about the ability to integrate civilian technology into national defense systems in a smart and efficient manner. With a resolve steadily strengthened by a long-term vision and massive investment, the United States Army now stands at the threshold of a new era, an era in which the battlefield is no longer defined by clear front lines, but by the speed of information, the flexibility of tactics, and the sophistication of autonomous systems. And when the first shocks of future conflicts come, the U.S. Army hopes to be ready, not just to survive, but to lead.